Smartphone cameras have become so ubiquitous and high quality that they're being used more and more for high-end projects. With the ability to shoot 4K, RAW, or even slow motion footage all in a pocket-sized camera, you're missing out if you're not fully tapping into your smartphone's potential. Here are five tips for shooting better mobile video. Smartphones are light and small, making them hard to keep stable. Shaky video might be your style or intention, but in most cases it's not. Always shoot using both hands, keeping the device as close to your body as possible. Consider propping your phone or your arms on a fixed structure like a table or wall. And for more stability, invest in a small tripod or handheld gimbal to lock down or smooth out your shots. Smartphone cameras have small image sensors and low dynamic range, so shooting in dark environments can lead to grainy, low-quality footage. Try to shoot in well-lit areas if possible, and if you have to shoot in a dark environment, get a light. Most cameras do offer touch focus and exposure, so use this feature to properly expose for a specific scene or shot. Vertical or portrait style video of shooting should be intentional. In general, most mobile video should be shot horizontally. It looks better, and you won't have to worry about cropping or other issues that come with uploading vertical footage online. For composition, the closer you get to your subject, the better. This will result in a sharper image, and by getting closer, you also gain a shallower depth of field, which can look more cinematic. You do have the option to zoom using the camera's built-in digital zoom, but this will noticeably degrade image quality. If you want more focal length range, look into a telephoto, fisheye, macro, or other lens adapter. Moment lenses, iographer, beast grip, and alo clip are some of the notable manufacturers, but there are many different options available. Audio quality is just as important as your image quality. Smartphones and tablets have lower quality built-in microphones that pick up unwanted ambient sounds like wind, traffic, and other background noise. Audio might not be a big concern if you're filming something like Aurora Borealis or an amusement park ride, but if it's something like an interview where audio is vital to the viewing experience, be sure to find a quiet location or use an external microphone or microphone that plugs in directly to your phone. There are many mobile video enhancing apps that can improve the functionality of your phone's camera. They can include image enhancing tools like color correction or image stabilization, specialty shooting modes like hyperlapse and slow motion, or even video editing and visual effects. They tap in directly to your camera's full capabilities and allow you to get closer to the exact image you want. Overall, when shooting mobile video, the most important things to understand are your camera's limits. That way, you can either make up for any features or settings that are lacking. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more tutorials, including how to shoot a time-lapse or hyperlapse on any camera. You can also read the Pond5 blog for other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of videos and other assets to use in your next project.